This is the second part of our Hammerspace installation video. So in this video, we are installing the second component, which is DSX, the data services component. And we, after we fire it up, we have to accept, of course, the license agreement. And here's where we make the crucial choice of choosing DSX, not Anvil. We did Anvil in a previous step, and it's now time to do the data services component. Once we have reviewed some of the basic settings, we hit next. We make sure that we have data in management on the network interface we're going to use for this install. This is a simple install. You can definitely break it up in multiple different components, but this is a standalone single Anvil and single DSX. So here I give it a name. I'm just going to call it Johan DSX1, mirroring my first name, as well as have to enter the domain name, it.hammer.space, which is our, our, uh, our lab subdomain. Uh, I have to give it an IP address, of course a mask, and the typical network parameters, right? And if I make a mistake here at any step in the process, it will light up in red, giving us a warning. And if you look under subnet mask, you'll notice something interesting. I did not enter the entire numerical mask. I simply entered the amount of subnet bits for the network, which is 24, mirroring 255.255.255.0. Uh, I could also enter the full numerical, but I do not have to. I can simply enter the, the network subnet bits. Default gateway, got to have that. And most importantly, I have to point it to the IP address of the Anvil so that the two can communicate and form a cluster. And finally, the password to Anvil. Once that's done, <clears throat> it's good to review it quickly. Um, and then just hit install. That will kick off the installation process which will kick off the, uh, uh, the network interfaces, configure the firewall. And once that completes, we will have a complete installation of Anvil and DSX. And as you can see, this goes pretty quickly. Once the installation is complete, it will finish off by letting us know what its IP address is and how to communicate. So as you notice, it points to dot 63, but it's dot 61. That is the anvil, which we will point our web browser or CLI to. Thank you for watching.